in the middle of the pond there. It tried to break and he went over and covered it. He did a good job. He stood in the pond. Over there up in the woods. There's about a 75 yard wide pop, pile of tops over there in that corner. So, and the goats will go hide up in it. So it'll probably take him a little work and he don't really know where they're at. It's kind of a blind outrun for him. Give him some redirect, but he, he's doing good. Uh, now he's gonna have to work to gather them out. The sheep seem coming, so they're starting to drift out of the woods. So I might have to give him a look back. Them goats get up in them tops, and you can't even see them. He, unless he sees them going by, I see some movement way back there. So it looks like he's got them. See, they turned. He looked back. He saw them. He came around, but then he saw them. I, I can see him moving around in there. He's really good gatherer, looking around and gathering stuff. And uh, there you go, he got him. Now he'll come out with them, so we might have to give him a look back for the sheep. We'll see. He should look around on his own. But if he don't, we'll give him a look back. So we're tucking him into the sheep. He's a calm, easy working dog. Now what we got here is about four different groups of goats that we bought in different places and sheep. So they won't group. If he don't keep them grouped, they won't group. The, the goats and sheep naturally split apart and then these groups of goats split apart in their own little segments. You see, he's right dead on the balance right there. Come on, Kiki. Look more side in, look back. Hey. There, walk up. There. Walk up. Hey, look back. Walk up. Come by, there, lie down, walk up, there, walk up, there, walk up, there, walk up, walk up, come by, come by, there, and go get the sheep and goats. Go get the livestock and put them up right. Keep them load up. Good boy. We got a goat, this little kid that's not doing good, so we're just going to carry him up. And, uh, he's not getting around good, so we're going to take him up and dog. That's what the dog sees, so he's going to have to go looking around and keep in mind when he's in the field, that's all he'll ever see is grass until he finds an animal. Zippy, go fetch. So he might come right up on him. He just has to look around do his job and find him instead of a big wide outrun like you see in that other video now see he's found him see he's looking back now there's some stuff way back there I don't know if he'll see it yeah I see big blackie back there I don't know if he did look back look back lie down look back look back oh he was going back I couldn't even tell it all right, so there you go. He didn't see him. He was looking at them others. All right, and then we're going to drive them up to the barn. So we'll get them up here, and then we'll start pushing them off, and then we'll drive up in the truck. Now, I, I'll have to lean my head out the truck to give command, because I talk all the time on the drive, whereas I'm going to save my time to gather. Now, he's got a big, wide outrun in open fields. Now, he's just hanging up in our old electric wire. Which is you see? There, walk up. Good boy, there, Dippy. Dippy, wait a minute. Dippy, wait a minute. There, walk up. Dippy, walk up. Walk up. There, Dippy.
in that corner. There he got him. There. We need to turn him back in here. Boy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Zippy. There we go. The driver call his name. Zippy. Right there. Walk up. Zippy, walk up. Good boy. 